Item number SCP-5838, Security Level 3. Containment Class, Euclid. Disruption Class, Kenick. Risk Class, Notice. Special Containment Procedures. The Foundation has embedded memetic agents in promotional advertisements and tourism material related to the Niagara Falls. Note, the grouping of three waterfalls along the Niagara River, located on the border of Ontario, Canada, and New York State, the United States of America, to dissuade individuals from entering the Niagara River in close proximity to Horseshoe Falls. Additional memetic agents were embedded on signage throughout the Canadian city of Niagara Falls and train platforms to induce similar effects. Members of Mobile Task Force Theta 4, the smaller boat, have been placed on standby under the guise of Canadian search and rescue personnel. Should an individual or group of individuals be in danger of falling over the brink of Horseshoe Falls, Theta 4 is to deploy a quick response air and riverborne intervention to detain the subjects. Should this intervention be successful, all such individuals are to be detained by the Foundation and administered amnestics before being released into local hospital facilities. If an individual perishes following an unsuccessful intervention, no further Foundation involvement is necessary. Description SCP-5838 is a phenomenon that affects individuals as they descend from the Niagara River into the plunge pool of Horseshoe Falls. When an individual is swept over the brink of Horseshoe Falls, between 2 to 6 SCP-5838-1 instances will manifest in close proximity to them. SCP-5838 instances resemble members of the Ursus Americana species, North American black bears. Upon manifestation, SCP-5838-1 instances or attempt to surround a foreign individual with their bodies. In all but one record case, see Addendum A1. The protection afforded by the SCP-5838-1 instances ensured the descent was not fatal to the individuals. Note, foreign individuals protected by SCP-5838-1 instances still suffer a variety of injuries ranging from minor to life-threatening. However, the impact routinely results in the deaths of all manifested SCP-5838-1 instances. The recovered corpses do not display any anomalous properties and appear identical to non-anomalous Ursus Americana specimens in all applicable tests. Addendum A1 On the 23rd of October, 2008, Jasper Argyle fell into Niagara River 150 meters upriver of Horseshoe Falls after climbing over the safety railing to urinate while inebriated. Head of four failed to recover the individual before his plummet over the brink of the Horseshoe Falls. Subsequently, a singular SCP-5838-1 instance manifested and proceeded to aggressively maul Jasper for the duration of his descent. The severely damaged corpse of Jasper Argyle was recovered, while the SCP-5838-1 instance survived and evaded capture. Foundation research determined that Jasper Argyle was a large game hunter from Barry, Ontario, who, on several occasions, had engaged in the legal poaching of endangered animals in North America and the Indian subcontinent. Addendum a2. On the 4th of June, 2011, between 70 and 120 semi-corporeal entities composed of water vapor and resembling members of the Ursus Americana species in shape and dimension emerged from the plunge pool of Horseshoe Falls over a period of approximately one hour. These entities designated SCP-5838-2 displayed I social behavior during the following four hours. This concluded when three animals, an adult Ursus Americanus and two accompanying cubs, 
was seen progressing along the rocky outcropping on the Canadian side of Horseshoe Falls Plunge Pool. Upon their arrival, the SCP-5838-2 entities conglomerated around the three specimens. The juvenile cubs were coaxed towards the entities by the adult, at which point the grouped SCP-5838-2 entities proceeded to bow their heads towards the trio. Subsequently, individual SCP-5838-2 entities approached the cubs and engaged in playful behavior for a period of 20 minutes. Following this display, all SCP-5838-2 entities moved towards the waterfall, whereupon the recognizable form of their bodies dissipated. Foundation personnel disseminated misinformation that the apparent manifestations were the result of an experimental light show. The following text was later found in great in the rock formerly occupied by the Ursus Americana specimen. Addendum A1, Engraving Transcription Safe in the barrel. When you are faced with a terrifying drop, no doubt we will be there to bear you away safely from more harm. The Obra Watch Command. But still, stay away from the falls, please.